What's going on guys? It's Matthew and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I have my NFL week 12 picks and predictions. Before I get into today's video I have to give a big shout out to last week's trivia winner. In last week's trivia, I asked who would score the final touchdown and for how many yards in the Giants-Buccaneers game on Monday Night Football. The correct answer was Mike Evans for five yards, and my guy Commander Valan got the exact answer correct with Mike Evans for five yards. So a big shout out to Commander. He will be entered in the final trivia if you want to be entered yourself, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and comment under my pinned comment. But without further ado, let's get right into this week's picks. As you can see, three games already happened on Thanksgiving Day, so I hope everyone had a blessed and good Thanksgiving. Uh, in my personal picks, I did pick Chicago to win. I thought Chicago uh, was just the better football team. I was thinking that the Bears could potentially lose this one and Nagy be out the door. Maybe what some Bears fans were hoping for, but uh, the Lions lose yet another close one. And uh, I think that's just the theme for them all season long. Now we'll go to our next game, the Raiders at the Cowboys. And I actually predicted the Cowboys to win this game. Uh, as you know, I got a big plate of food around 3.30 and I fell asleep so I woke up and saw that this game was going into overtime uh, in the 30s and the Raiders were dominating this game early on. Uh, I thought the Cowboys would have won this one pretty handedly but the Raiders, after losing multiple games against the Bengals, fought back in one against the Cowboys. The Cowboys now losing two straight. And does this open the door for the Eagles in the division? I don't know, but it'll be interesting to see. And for our final Thanksgiving Day game, we have the Bills and the Saints. I predicted the Bills would win. Uh, after a bad, a bad couple Bills losses, there was no way I could see the Bills uh, losing this one, especially if the Jaguars, and then you have the bad Colts loss, which Jonathan Taylor absolutely dominated in. Uh, unfortunately, I had to play Taylor in fantasy, but I thought the Saints really had no chance in this one. The Bills looked dominant from beginning to end, uh, so e easy 2-1 and one on Thanksgiving Day for my picks. We're now going to get into my first prediction, which is the Steelers and the Bengals. And as you can see, we are on a new playoff machine site. So if we click a Steelers win, uh, you can see it puts Pittsburgh in the playoffs. So it will constantly be updated as we go along. But I'm going to flip the switch over and go back to the Bengals. I do not care if, uh, if I'm wrong on this prediction, but I can't pick Pittsburgh to win a, to win a football game. I did pick them to lose versus the Chargers, and they did last week, but arguably Pittsburgh sold that game. Pittsburgh making a 17-point comeback in the fourth quarter without TJ Watt, without Minka Fitzpatrick, without Joe Hayden, our three best defensive players. That was an amazing effort, and I can't even be mad. Our offense put up 37 points. And if we can do that against the Chargers without some of our best defensive players like DJ Watt, Minka Fitzpatrick, and Joe Aiden, come playoffs, if the Steelers make it and we play the Chargers again, I really, really, really like the Steelers' chances. As for the Bengals, they are looking hot once again, and they beat the Raiders pretty convincingly towards the end of the game, an overall solid performance. But in this one, Steelers and Bengals, they're playing in Cincinnati. It's going to be a tough place to win. The Pittsburgh Steelers need to win this one to stay in the playoff race, but I am picking the Cincinnati Bengals. Our next game is the Jets at the Texans. 
you can call this the tank ball tank ball game uh, the Jets losing a close one versus Miami with Joe Flacco at the helm then you have the Texans who pulled off the craziest upset of the week when they went in and beat the Tennessee Titans the number one seed in the AFC to be honest I did not see it coming I did mention in last week's video that the uh, that the Titans lost to the Jets, so they could potentially lose to the Texans, but the Titans were my lock of the week. I did not think that was a realistic chance, but the Texans did it, and credit to them. But being the Texans, they won't win two in a row. I'm rocking with the Jets. I actually think they get a blowout victory. Call me crazy, but the Jets get a blowout victory right here in week 12. Our next game should be a good one, and we have the Buccaneers playing the Indianapolis Colts. I am really interested in this game. The Colts have been playing good football as of late. 40-something points put on the Bills. That's impressive. Jonathan Taylor, wow, is he looking good. Four or five touchdowns he put up on the Bills as well. An absolute stellar performance for Jonathan Taylor. Unfortunately, he put up 53 fantasy points against me that week. Uh, but I think I'm going to rock with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think that the Colts' hot streak uh, doesn't come to an end here, but it gets put on a hold. I think the Colts play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in a much closer game than expected. I could potentially see this one uh, go close to overtime, but I have a feeling that uh, the Buccaneers will have a lead, and Carson Wentz will throw a pick close to the end of the game to seal it for the Buccaneers. And that's my prediction. Lock it in. Our next matchup, another one maybe close to Dank Bowl, is a Atlanta Falcons versus Jacksonville Jaguars. And in this one, the Falcons do have an extended break coming off of a really bad, really, really, really bad loss to the Patriots. And then you have the Jaguars coming off of a pretty bad loss to the 49ers as well, so both teams are coming off losses, someone has to win, the better team here is the Atlanta Falcons, could the Jaguars win, I think so, but in this one, the Falcons still are the better team, it'd be nice to see if Calvin Ridley comes back anytime soon, uh, trying to look at the Falcons record really quick, and right now they're 4-6 and six. if they get this victory, they are 5-6, and six. The current 7th seed and 5th seed is all 5-5, five and five, so potentially, or the 6th seed is all 5-5, five and five, so potentially still a playoff chance for the Falcons. Our next matchup is the Carolina Panthers playing the Miami Dolphins, and this one should be good. Miami on a hot streak, picking up some steam. Are they going to try to make a playoff push? Personally, I think it is already a little too late for that, but definitely playing some better football as of late. And the Panthers with Cam Newton playing a really good one versus Washington. I was rooting for the Panthers. I, I like Cam with the Panthers. I think Cam still had a great game, uh, but they did not come out on top. But I think they will on this one. I think the Panthers do have a semi-legit shot to make the playoffs as well, competing with Minnesota, San Francisco, these teams. Uh, but I think they get a much-needed win here in Miami. Next matchup we have is the Tennessee Titans playing the New England Patriots. And this is going to be a good, good, good football game. The Titans and the Patriots. Wow, am I excited for this one. The Titans coming off of the worst loss of this season, potentially, for any team. And the Patriots on a roll here as they continue to pick up wins and are currently right in that playoff picture with the division and uh, the wild card most likely going to make it this year. Uh, and in this one, I am going to roll with the Titans. And that really shakes up a lot of things in the AFC. The Titans are coming off the worst loss of the year. And Mike Frabel's Titans always give the Patriots problems. They really do. The Titans are that team that I feel like has the better side of the Patriots as of recently. Uh, the Patriots, they've been on a roll. They are coming off of a little bit of an extended break because they played the Falcons.
Titans on Thursday night, but the Titans are going to bounce back. They bounce back and play very good versus good football teams. I like the Titans in this one, 31-24. Our next matchup is the Eagles and the Giants. And man, are the Eagles starting to pick up some steam come this playoff push time. Could the Eagles potentially make a run? And I'm going to pick the Eagles to win again. And that gives Philadelphia temporarily the seventh seed in the playoffs at 6-6. Six and six. And Philadelphia is also my lock of the week. Book it. I've been stone cold on my lock of the weeks. They've all gotten upset, but the Eagles playing really good football. They're playing hot. Their defense is playing good. Steven Nelson, Darius Slay playing really nice. Eagles putting up a 40-burger, I believe, on the Saints the week prior. I like the Eagles to win this one big on the road. Our next matchup is the Chargers and the Broncos. And this one it really has me uh, really has me thinking here. And that's where our upset of the week is going to come in right after our lock of the week. I'm picking the Denver Broncos to upset the Chargers here. The Chargers coming off of arguably one of their best wins this year versus Pittsburgh. That was a thriller of a game. And uh, Denver's coming off a bye week, and a lot of people are probably saying Chargers easily cover, easily win in this one, but for some reason my gut is telling me Broncos. I don't know why. I think the fact of it being played in Denver has a lot of accountability, too. I like Denver in a super close one, 27-24 in overtime. Our next game is probably the game of the week when the Rams play the Packers. And I don't know, as I'm sitting here right now, who I'm going to pick to win this game. Because I like both of these franchises. The LA Rams, you know, semi-struggling a little bit as of late. Still one of the better teams in the league. And the Green Bay Packers obviously coming off of a loss versus the Vikings. I really want to pick the Rams to win it. I really do, but I'm going with the Green Bay Packers. In my brain, I think the Rams bounce back. But no way does Aaron Rodgers take back-to-back -back losses here. And Aaron Rodgers, I feel like, has had the better of the Rams maybe as of recent as well. So I think this one will be a good one. It'll be a high-scoring one. Expect a lot of points to be scored. If you're going to bet, maybe bet the over. Um, depending on the total, obviously. But I like a lot of points in this one, and I like Green Bay to win it. Now we have the Vikings playing the 49ers, and both of these teams are teams that went on losing streaks. I thought were out of it, and now they're back in it. The 49ers, the Minnesota Vikings, 49ers getting a big dub, big win over the Jags. Then you have the Vikings getting a massive upset over the Packers. Both of these teams are fighting for a wild card spot. And I predict that one of these teams at the end of the year will have that wild card spot. So, who do you think will win this game? I'm rocking with the 49ers. I really like San Francisco. I think they are starting to put some things together here. Get some massive wins. Get a win over the Rams. Get a win over the Jaguars. It's all about getting out at the right time. And I'm picking the 49ers to win this one at home. Our second to last game is the Browns at the Ravens, a divisional AFC North matchup on Sunday Night Football. And this week 12 is looking great, guys, with the amount of quality football games there is. And Baltimore, man, are they just getting some squeak, squeaky wins out of here. Um, obviously a good win to win with a backup quarterback, obviously, but... Chicago really sold that game. Uh, Chicago, my heart's with you. Uh, with the heartbreaking losses this year, you definitely uh, deserve a discount to the football therapy program because you guys should have beat Baltimore that game. And Cleveland as well, squeaking out a win versus Detroit. Detroit had chances here and there, but like I said, that's the story of their year. But... 
this one is going to be an entertaining one. Baltimore, Cleveland had low-scoring games last week. That will not be the same this week. Cleveland is going to win in a high-scoring bout. I could see 36 to 33. I like Austin Hooper or uh, the Cleveland's tight ends to go off in this one is my prediction. And as you see with that Cleveland win, it puts them right in the seventh seed back in the playoffs. But if Pittsburgh gets a win, look at that. Everything switches up. So a lot of different things can happen here. But I'm rocking with Cleveland on Sunday night. Now we go to Monday night football and the trivia game of the week. The Seattle Seahawks playing the Washington football team. And to be honest, I think Seattle's season is just about cooked. Sitting at 3-7. and seven. If you need to go on a run, now is the time. Because if Seattle loses this, this, this game, I believe that they are eliminated. In my book, not mathematically, but sitting at 3-8 and eight is not where you want to be. Washington playing good, getting a dub over Carolina. Also an important win for them as well, sitting at 4-6. and six. But this is the time where Russ cooks as Russ. I'm taking the Seattle Seahawks to get the dub over the Washington football team here on Monday Night Football. Now for our trivia of the week. For our trivia, I want you to correctly predict the score and the winner of the Monday Night Football game with the Seattle Seahawks and the Washington football team. My score is 24 to 19. Uh, Seattle wins. Like, like the video, subscribe, and leave your prediction under my pinned comment. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video, and I'll make sure to see you